and welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. This week we have a rather filthy Ford C-Max. Yes, this rather stagnated vehicle. It's been sat around for quite some time, hence the very low mileage. 55,000 miles on this uh, battle bus, incredible. However, it is rather grimy. So I've got a number of different products I'm gonna be using this week. Some you may know, some you may not. Anyway, before we get onto the video, a bit of advice for you. Next time you're down uh, Lidl's or in Aldi's and you're down the center aisle, don't pick up the twiglets. Uh, I found out they're not twiglets, they're cable ties. Yes. I've still got one in my tooth. Oh, hold the video. So here we go then, the Ford Grimefest, the filthy C-Max. This is a Ford C-Max, 2008, it's nearly said 60 there, 55,000 miles on the clock. Pretty low for a car this year. So we've got all the usual traits. We've got grime around the badges. And we've got the filthy flap area, as ever. Window rubbers, mm, not good. And that's the bonnet, lovely. This has not seen any cleaning action for quite some time. There she is, on possibly the dullest day to shoot a video. Misty and dull, lovely. Good old British weather. Turn your water on, see what the water pressure's like. On this particular day, not brilliant. So this is shot in the courtyard of the owner's property. And I have done a car here before, and I remember last time the water pressure wasn't brilliant. But nevertheless, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it our best shot. So we've got the big boy washer R. Check that video out. That's the upgrade kit. We're using the upgrade kit on this particular pressure washer. Fantastic bit of kit. Stubby guns. Whatever did we do before stubby guns? Struggled. Got backache. That's the answer. So we've got citrus power this week from Alien Magic. 1 to 6 dilution rate. On the SGC BUK tire scrubbing brush. So these require a couple of hits. Wheel cleaning time now. Rim from Mitchell and King. Dilutable alloy wheel cleaner. One to four. Pretty strong, but we're going in hard. Literally. Easy wheel cleaning brushes. This is the large one. Don't do it. Too late. We've gone in both holes, filled them completely. It's the only way you can get around these wheels. You've got to have two on the go. You've got to fill two holes. Look at the filth coming out of that. Now, it wouldn't be complete without the detailing brush shot. So I see a lot of videos where people clean wheels and use these really soft detailing brushes. I don't know how they use them because they don't seem to do a lot. I've actually done it on my own wheels. Now I've gone back to using this slightly stiffer brush. It's slightly stiffer, but it does the job. And it's chemical resistant, wax and away brush. One of the best brushes out there for doing wheels. And that is the wheel mitt from SGC BUK. Yes, I can get behind spokes in answer to the question from someone in the comments section of the last video. Not gonna mention who it was because they're just wasting my time. Yes, I do clean behind spokes. Obviously, if I don't, that makes me the most useless car detailer in the world, according to you. Anyway, let's get on with the clean. So before we go in with our snow foam, I'm going to try and get rid of some of this green gunk out of the window rubbers. Pretty stubborn, this stuff. You can see that requiring a bit more attention. And one of the worst areas is just behind that mirror. 
We're gonna build up a bit. Now, because it's a metallic car, it's silverish. You can't really see the grime. Believe you me, there is a distinctive colour change coming up. So just underneath those handles, there is a line of green and this bit. In the top of this trim and on the underside of that trim. Make sure you flush that out if you get a vehicle like this, because your wash mitt won't thank you and the car certainly won't. Instant colour change coming up. Talk about tide marks. Mind you, if your bath looked like that, I think you've got problems. I spent quite some time rinsing this car down before I actually did the snow foam. Show you some clips of the rinse down. So this car is actually used for moving dogs about, believe it or not, as a daily. Gun dogs go in the back of this. It's got a purpose-built cage. And if it had smell of vision and that tailgate was open, you'd be on the floor. Not the most pleasant smell in the world from gun dogs. So we have faded headlights. More about those faded headlights later on. Watch the bit above the badge, this chrome trim. Yeah, not nice. So once we've given this car a thorough rinsing, it was on to snow foam. This is ODK's snow foam. 100 mil. And we're using the new Lance, snow foam Lance. You are gonna see this in a video, do not worry. This is the fancy Lance from Big Boy. So you're probably thinking, why is it so fancy, Paul? And why is it so expensive? Well, because it's individual and it's a little bit of a gimmick. It's got adjustable nozzles where you can adjust the direction of the foam. There's the downward one. And it makes the jobs like that so much easier, especially when they're high. So to get rid of this gunk, it was toothbrush time. I borrowed the wife's she won't mind no this is the detailing brush from detailers passion now at the time of shooting this video he's probably not got any in stock because detailers passion are a bit quiet at the moment they are coming back do not worry i've had this brush for a number of years and it's brilliant it just looks like a toothbrush so if you haven't got one of these grab a toothbrush and don't grab the wives or your partners they won't thank you so you can see the muck coming out of this it does require a bit of elbow grease and then it's another rinse down, or a rinse up in my case. I think I actually ended up rinsing this car down about six times off camera because there was so much gunk kept coming out the crevices. You 
including a return trip on these. Yes. Window cam. So here we have Lithium Auto Elixir's Double Tap. This is a cleansing shampoo all the way from America. Now I've got a number of these products from Lithium. Bill was really kind in sending these products over. I'm apologies for getting these videos out late. You're gonna see a few of these on the, on the channel. This stuff smells divine. Eucalyptus. It's very, very thick in like a gel type formula. Huge 32 ounce bottle. It's got excellent cleaning power and it has plenty of lubricity. Using a noodle mitt on this. Probably thinking, why are you using a noodle mitt? Simply because of those badges. Every time I use a microfiber mitt, I end up losing half of it on the badges. So another rinse down. If you know what colour this car is, please let me know in the comments, because it's not silver. A very, very speedy drying session now with the air blower from Big Boy. And it's on to the LSP, Last Stage Protection, one of my favourite products, AM Seal. This is a synthetic sealant. It's part synthetic, part natural. So you've got the synthetic element, then you've got Carnuba for the gloss very very easy to apply you can even use an applicator pad like this we can use a cloth a microfiber cloth there's no need to dampen it work it into the panels now you can do a panel at a time although I recommend on a dull day with the temperatures are low do several panels I chose to do the entire car purely because it's easier for me when I'm filming you let it haze and then you simply buff it off this can give you at least three to six months protection, depending on where you live. I've done a motorbike with this, and I actually got nearer 11 months out of it. And it smells fantastic. I've still got one of my original bottles of this in the garage. And then Alan was very kind enough to send down some new ones. And I actually bought some and then sent some up to Specky, my dear podcast buddy. If you haven't listened to the podcast, go check it out. So this is fantastic. You can go over the lights. You can go over rubbers with this. There's no residue. Let it haze. Let it cure for a number of minutes. And then buff it off. It's not draggy, it's not hard to buff off like a wax. It's so simple. It's one of the easiest products to use. So remember those headlights? Well, I wasn't going to leave them. Classic bit of taping up and a very, very speeded up polishing set. So we've got G3 compound with a green pad from the SGC BUK guys. Now, when these are really bad, you're going to have to wet sand these. I just about got away with this with a decent amount of polish. I hit these actually twice in certain areas because they were so bad, but it makes a big difference. And of course, having cloudy, fail, faded headlights isn't going to do you any favours when you go for an MOT. So this has just freshened them up and made it a damn sight easier to see down those horrible dark lanes. And also, stop you getting nicked. So once this was done, they had a recoat of AM seal. Just to protect them. And it's onto ODK's attire. So you're done there. Trim and tire dressing. That is about it for this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Please let me know what you think of the channel in the comments section. Keep subscribing. We're going to roll some sexy B-roll. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.